Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jude from Happiness and Crafting so I thought I would take a little bit of time today and do a bit of mixed media so what I was thinking, I have this lovely, um, it's like a little board canvas and it's the shape of an oval and it's 20, um, 20, 12 by 18 centimetres um, and I just thought it would be a really nice one to pop onto the front of a journal now this is my journal here and it would fit absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to be making another recycled journal so I thought this would make a really nice um, topper for the journal so let's just pop that back I have one of my lovely little um, Tim Holtz um, people I can't remember what they're called little digi people but I also have some of my wings now these are my um, butterfly wings and what I've done, I've added some UV resin to them um, and I just thought they would look really nice on the journal cover so I've got the blue ones but I think they're a little bit too big so I've got green ones so I'm going to use the green ones and just pop them behind like that I just think that would look really really nice I also have this lovely um, stencil um, which is beautiful now it's got little bits on there um, what I was thinking, maybe I could just pop that on there and see where they've got the little bits that come out. It's like a Mandela one, isn't it? Mandela one. I just thought maybe we could look like he's sort of like sitting on the edge of it. Maybe if I bring it down a little bit, it's sort of like sat on the edge. So that's my sort of idea, but I want sort of like a, a background first. So. I have gesso, now I need to pop a little bit of gesso on here so let's do that first feels like I haven't done anything like this for ages and ages well nothing this year anyway so let's just pop a little bit of gesso on just like that and then we will just quickly dry it look, covered in gesso already quickly dry that off okay now i'm going to go in with this lovely muted green just a little bit of color because we've got the green um wings haven't we so let's just obviously i don't want too much color on here let's go in let's just wipe some of that gesso off now i still love this color i think it's a beautiful color take a little bit of that gesso that I've got just go down there fabulous should we go in let's go in with a little bit of purple I think I'm going to look a little bit messy today just a little bit down here Little background. I've also got a couple of um, silicon stamps that I would quite like to use. So let me just sort of dry that a second. Perfect. Love it. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of gold because I think we could have a little bit of gold in here. This is where I'm going to pop the um, the little stencil. So let's just. Have a little bit. Let's go this way, I think. A little bit of gold. Fabulous. There we go. Lovely. Now, this can sit. I think we have it. We need to make sure we pop him on there. Like that, I think. And then the little wings. I think the wings will look quite nice and because I've um, put resin on them I think they will look really good now shall I gesso that first and then add a little bit of colour let's see let's just do that shall we let's just go in might look quite nice just white not sure which way as long as it doesn't sort of spread everywhere oops I 
Maybe I should have done this with a little bit of texture paint, probably. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's lovely. Love, love, love. Now I will wash that off in a minute. Let's just dry that. Let's just take that off there. Fabulous. Don't you think that looks nice? Oopsie daisy. That looks really, really lovely on there. Now I think it's probably still a bit wet. But his little bottom can sit in there, which fits absolutely perfect, doesn't it? So do you think we should put... Where's my brown? What do you think? Just a tiny bit of this on here. And then I will pop just on here where he's going to sit. We need a little bit of water, which is here. Oh. oh, look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? Get a bit of tissue. Need to dry that. Okay, now what I want to do is just add a little bit of green in there as well. A greeny sort of blue. See how that will look. A bit of water. Wow. Lovely. Doesn't that look nice? I like that. Now that's probably going to stay wet for a little bit so we've got to be careful. Now, do you think I should just add maybe a little touch up there? Do you think that's going to be in the way? It's going to be right on his head, isn't it? Just go up a little bit. I'm going to pop just a tiny... Oh my gosh, I'm going to get my little man all covered in gesso. Mucky, mucky. That's me making a mess everywhere. That's sort of the middle. Which way should we go? Lovely. Okay, let's pop that over there out of the way. Going to dry that. Big mess down there. A little bit of brown, cover that white up. I think I might have to just leave this for 10 minutes just to dry properly before I stick the little man on. Let's just stick that down. I'm going to pop a little bit of gold. This is quite thick. But I would like a little bit of gold around this one. Let's see. And that will go in. Not a lot. Let's pop a little brown. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to leave those for a minute to dry properly and then I will be back. So two seconds. Okay, so it's sort of dry. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to go around the edge with some stays on ink. Now, I also have some of these which are like mica flakes, um, which are really, really pretty. Um, and I was thinking, because I have my resin out and I did the wings and they match fabulous, I thought this is what they're like. They came like this, sort of like a mica, mica flakes, I think they are going to just use my UV resin and mix that up into here and see if I can add them just 
on little sections in here before I stick the little the little man on. Now I've got my my Let's Resin um, little UV lamp there. Okay, so what I've got, I've just added the resin into there. I'm going to get a couple of little cocktail sticks. Just mush that around in there. Not sure whether that will work. But it might. So let's just do this. I want to just go around the edge first. This is still just a little bit wet. And maybe I should have... I don't know whether that's going to do a lot. That side. And this side. It's okay. It looks like a little egg. Doesn't it? Okay. Now I'm going to take some of this. I just want to, I might be making a big mess, but seeing it's mixed media, why not give it a go? And add just a little bit of these flakes to here. Just for something a little bit different. Take that off. Now when you're using UV resin, you must open the window. My window's open, I haven't got gloves on. But you can obviously pop gloves on. I'm not going to be touching this. That's why I've got the lovely little pot. I'm just going to pop a little bit on this side. Just down there. If it looks awful, it looks awful. But we won't know unless we try, will we? So let's just take these. I would love to do a sort of resin mirror, um, so maybe I'll do that at some point. The beautiful stuff I've got from Let's Resin. So let's stick on there. Let's hope this is going to work. What do you think? Is that enough? Come on, let's add a little bit more. Okay, what do you think? That looks quite nice. I think it will sort of like catch the light, won't it? With the little flaky bits. Let's pop that under our lamp for a minute or two and then I will be back. But that's lovely. Can you see? Let's see if it goes any shinier. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so that's come out lovely. That's nice and hard on there. So what a different texture that is. I love it. They've got a little bit sort of brown mixed with um, the resin. Um, they're not as shiny as I thought they would be, but they do catch the light. Can you see? I think that looks really, really lovely. Okay. Oh, look, that was still wet. Oh, I'm so messy. That's okay. Shall we pop our little man on here? What a funky, funky little journal topper. Oh look, I stuck him to that as well. So, we're going to have to just stick him on, I think. Let's have a look. Look, I've got it all over the back of his legs. I'm going to make a great big mess. I'm going to just quickly dry that because I'm going to stick him down with some glue gun. Okay, perfect. So, let's just say going to stick there sit there not stick there probably stick there sit there like that now I need to where we, shall we put these just like that I think oh look at that how funky is that now I've got a little rubber stamp that I was going to use somewhere which is sort of a little bit textured 
which I might just go in. We're going to go for it. Let's just go in there and do a little bit. I might take it off this. Just sort of. Just like that. Just want it a little bit. Do you think that's where the wings are going to go? Do you think I see it? Not very well. Let's do that again. Let's just. There we go. That's a bit better. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Then we need to figure out where our funky little wings go. That's going to have to go on there, just like that. Actually, what I'm going to have to do, we've got a white bit here. I'm going to have to pop a little bit of ink on there. Not that I want to wet it too much because it's just going to be take longer to dry, isn't it? I'm going to have to just spray just a little bit. Okay, big mess, big, big mess. Pop you on there. Now I need to mark where these are going to go, don't I? Or should I just stick them down and stick that on top, shall I? Decisions. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop some glue gun on here. down like that again glue gun on here oh need a new glue stick about right isn't it let's get rid of some of this glue don't need all that do we do need to make sure that they're stuck down well oops I'm gonna sneeze okay that's his little wings fabulous and we will just pop him a little bit lower down right what do you think? Oh, he's funky, isn't he? I do like that. It's a little bit offset, but that's okay. I'm going to glue gun him down. I think that's going to be the best way to keep him all on there nice and safe. is that I do like that really really nice now what I'm going to do I'm going to get my Posca pen my little beigey one give it a bit of a shake make sure it works I'm just going to go over some of these on here That's where I've got it's a little bit dark. Okay, that looks good. Shall we go in with a few of our lovely little dotties? I do like dots. Should we go up here? Now, I think this will make a really, really lovely um, journal topper, won't it? Especially with these, because these are really hard, and this resin goes really, really hard. Oh, 
Ooh, this is so just a tiny bit wet still. But look at that, that's really, really funky, isn't it? I might go in with actually with white. Let's take our little white pasta pen. Oh, I think that one's my too thin. I think it's this one, isn't it? Actually, come up through here. I've got some. Just with some little white dots there. And that looks really nice. These little dots make such a difference, don't they? That, I think that's fabulous. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that because I think that's really, really lovely. I will pop some close-ups of that because it's a real sort of like mixture of all sorts of things in there. But it's really, really nice. So it's the first time I've used resin on a canvas. Well, it's canvas board. And that works really, really well, and I'm loving it. So there we go, guys. I'm going to leave it like that because um, that's something completely different. Um, thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.